Salmon has to be the perfect fish for a Sunday lunch because everyone loves salmon. This is a medium-sized salmon. When you buy salmon, make sure it's nice and firm, the eyes are nice and bright, the gills nice and bright, and get your fishmonger to take out the guts and scale it for you. When you scale fish at home, three weeks later you've got scales still plastered all over the ceiling, so get them to do it. The first thing we're going to do, before we bake it, is give it a bit of a haircut. We're going to take all these unwanted fins off. Okay, start with the tail. Off, the little dorsal fin. We're going to bake it on tinfoil. Now, be very generous with the tinfoil, because we're going to sort of create almost like a little parcel. And we're going to leave some room at the top, so it's sort of... Steam. We're not going to wrap it tight, otherwise it doesn't cook evenly. Two nice layers of tinfoil, and that stops it from splitting when it's baking. Now, we're going to bake it on a bed of herbs, but real nice, fresh, fragrant herbs. Got some sage, basil, rosemary, with the stalks. Nice, big, fragrant, dried bay leaf. Lemongrass, cut in half like that. The whole lemongrass in half. And then, put the two ends together, the back of your knife, and just crush it as if you're crushing garlic. And what that does is it sort of opens up that really nice, fresh, fragrant lemon. Salt and pepper. And then finally the garlic. But we don't need to peel the garlic. Just get the whole bulb and sort of cut it in half and then just squeeze it all over those herbs. Now, before we put the salmon on top, what I'm going to do now is just lightly score with a knife across the skin of the salmon with about half an inch in between. Score all the way down just to the bottom of the tail, turn it over and do the same again. And what this does, it allows the salmon to cook evenly and it also speeds the process up and more importantly, look, as you bend the salmon round, all that flavour of those herbs goes inside the salmon. Lay that on top. Now, use one large lemon or three nice small lemons like I've got here. And just top and tail the lemon and then cut these nice thick wedges. Olive oil and lemons in. Now, just season the lemons. And the nice thing about caramelising lemon now is that you can actually serve the lemon as part of the garnish for the salmon. It only takes two or three minutes to do, but it makes a big difference in terms of flavour. It's amazing. Okay. And all we do now is take those lemons, some on top, some inside, and the flavour of a salmon after it's been cooked with a caramelised lemon. It's extraordinary. We're going to put some nice star anise over the salmon, inside the cavity, and then season the top. And then, before it goes in the oven, just drizzle olive oil over the top. Now, get the tinfoil, lift them up together, and it's really important that we just treat this nice and carefully, but just imagine you're making a really nice sort of large Cornish pasty and you're folding those ends over because we want to keep all that steam in there. And that, of course, means flavour. And she's ready for baking. Look at her. In she goes. 190, 25, 30 minutes. The perfect accompaniment is a hollandaise sauce. We're going to make a modern version of hollandaise. We're doing a pink grapefruit hollandaise sauce. But as opposed to messing around with clarified butter, we're going to make it with olive oil. Now, the most important thing about making a hollandaise sauce is to stop it from splitting. And when it splits, it looks like sort of curdled scrambled egg. Disgusting. So we cook it over a bain-marie, and that protects it in a way that it sort of cooks it nice and slowly. There's no direct heat, and that's really important. Three egg yolks. And then I'm just going to crush some coriander seeds. Back into the pan, and then into your eggs. Now, zest. One grapefruit. 
And using pink grapefruit is less harsh than a normal grapefruit. It's a lot more delicate. And the secret behind a hollandaise sauce is making sure that it's not cloy and heavy on the palate. Pink grapefruit and squeeze half a grapefruit into the eggs. And then ovi bamri and start whisking. Now, if we put three or four minutes into just whisking nice and lightly, look what happens to the egg yolks already. The eggs are starting to thicken up and if we get them really nice and thick, then it'll be so easy to add the olive oil. See how thick that is now? Okay, I'm going to take that off the heat. We don't need to be too dainty for the olive oil. Take off the top and just look. Pour a tablespoon in first, get it going. And once the first tablespoon of olive oil is in there, just almost like a little tap running. Look, stir with one hand and just let it drizzle out. And look, look how easy it is to take that olive oil. It's doubled in volume. There it is, look, beautiful. Okay, little taste. This is where we crack the seasoning. Just a little taste. Mm. A little bit more salt and pepper. And do you know what? A touch more pink grapefruit juice. And wow, look. Now, that is really nice. Not too thick, not too rich. Mmm. That's what we want, look. Almost like a coating sauce. The whole thing is just nice and zesty and vibrant. It's not sticking to the roof of my mouth. Time to get the salmon out. And the smell is extraordinary. Out she comes. The nice thing about keeping it whole, of course, we can actually go to the table and serve it whole like that. But I'm just going to take a nice portion off and just show you how easy it is and just unwrap the tin foil and look, look what's happening. Look, that smell. Absolutely amazing. And look at it. You know, it's like Christmas Day all over again. Just look at that. Beautiful. And the nice thing now is just you take off one of the lemons, serve that as a garnish because that is delicious. All you do now, the skin, and peel the skin back. And the nice thing about the salmon being nice and warm is that it really sort of comes off the bone easily. Because all we're going to do now is just take a spoon and see this line down here? That is where the salmon separates. And all you do is get your spoon and sort of put it in between that line and the salmon and watch what happens. The spoon just helps to slide the salmon off the bone. And look, it's all sliding down. And then to get my perfect portion Palette knife, lift it up, don't skimp on it, generously, one piece, and then another piece, and look, it's still nice and pink, and then finally, take your spoon, get your hollandaise, and just spread that hollandaise over the salmon, and that has to be the perfect way of eating a Sunday lunch with whole baked salmon with the most amazing fragrant pink grapefruit olive oil hollandaise that smells amazing